Hi there people, how are you doing today? Hope you're all doing fine. Welcome to our class number 43, thanks to the Corporación Municipal de San Miguel. Of course, is the reason why we are still working with you in this way. Welcome to our class number 43. <laughs> And welcome to our class number 43 to our 43rd class and we're going to start with an exercise that many people ask me to do very often they say always teacher please don't forget about the dictations because we love dictations there are some people that don't like it don't like dictations yes of course but there are many people that really like this kind of exercise because they feel that they can do it and they feel pretty well after they write down the dictation and they get pretty close to what the original text was saying so today we're going to do as you can see there on the whiteboard dictation number 19 swimmers see a shark baby shark yes <laughs> one of the first thing you you think when you see the word shark right the baby shark but no today we're not going to sing or no we're not going to see the lyrics of the song baby shark we're going to make a dictation about some swimmers seeing a shark in 2019 last year okay or it was this year no last year okay there you have dictation number 19 swimmers see a shark I'm going to say as usual I'm going to make the dictation little by little I'm just going to repeat twice each one of the part of the sentences and as soon as we finish I'm going to show you the text which we have here right but I'm not going to show it to you yet <laughs> and then after that I'm going to read the text complete in, in a, a slow speed so you can get all the pronunciations and intonations and then after only after that I'm going to read the text at a normal speed okay so let's start with this dictation number 19 US Coast Guard members US Coast Guard members US Coast Guard members decided to go swimming decided to go swimming decided to go swimming during their break last week during their break last week Period. Period. Suddenly, 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 coma, a shark appeared in the water. Coma, a shark appeared in the water. Period. New paragraph, please. The shark was about seven feet long. The shark was about seven feet long. And it was swimming, and it was swimming about 30 feet away. And it was swimming about 30 feet away period then coma then coma 
it started to swim it started to swim directly towards the people in the water directly towards the people in the water period another crew member another crew member who was on the ship who was on the ship started to shoot at the shark started to shoot at the shark period he hoped that the shark he hoped that the shark would swim away would swim away semicolon however coma however coma the shark was not scared the shark was not scared coma and it came back and it came back period new paragraph all the people all the people got out of the water all the people got out of the water safely of the water safely period they said that the shark they said that the shark was not harm they said that the shark was not harm coma and they saw it swim away and they saw it swim away so now we're going to see how close or how far did we get in relation to the original text so here you have it take a couple of seconds so you can check it out and let's see if you did it as well as you hope and as well as you thought you did it All right, so now that we have the text here on the screen, I'm going to read the text first in a slow speed so you can get all the pronunciations and intonations. And then I'm going to read, read the text again, but now, now this time at a regular speed or normal speed so you can get used to that too. Okay, all right, let's start, let's begin. US Coast Guard members decided to go swimming during their break last week. Suddenly, a shark appeared in the water. The shark was about seven feet long and it was swimming about 30 
feet away. Then it started to swim directly towards the people in the water. Another crew member who was on the ship started to shoot at the shark. He hoped that the shark would swim away. However, however, the shark was not scared and it came back. All the people got out of the water safely. They said that the shark was not harmed and they saw it swim away. Any questions, any doubts? No? Not so far? Good. If you have any questions, please send them to me to teacher.cloud1977 at gmail.com and I promise that I will answer all your mails even though sometimes maybe it takes me a little bit longer depending on how much work do I have to do but I definitely answer each uh, each one of the mails that I receive all right now I'm going to read the text at a regular speed I mean that is to say normal speed Dictation number 19, swimmers see a shark. U.S. Coast Guard members decided to go swimming during their break last week. Suddenly, a shark appeared in the water. The shark was about 7 feet long and it was swimming about 30 feet away. Then it started to swim directly towards the people in the water. Another crew member who was on the ship started to shoot at the shark. He hoped that the shark would swim away. However, the shark was not scared and it came back. All the people got out of the water safe, safely. They said that the shark was not harmed and they saw it swim away the end of this part all right people congratulations very good job let's go to the second part of our wonderful 43rd class and welcome to the second part of our wonderful class today where we're going to exercise some of the contents that we have been already exercising since, uh, since last class for example the passive voice let me start with the presentation good passive voice exercises plus Instagram abbreviations what are Instagram's abbreviations Instagram abbreviations are of course the acronyms that if you want to communicate with some people that live in an English spoken country and they you communicate via private messenger messages on Instagram you will see a lot of acronyms that you have to know what is the meaning of them of course that I'm not going to translate them I'm just going to explain them to you in English so that's what we're going to see after exercises a little bit the passive voice yes you said but the last class we have just exercised passive voice exactly today we have to continue because it's a little bit difficult the, the fact of going from active voice into the passive voice it has some some levels of difficulty so it's good to practice because we have to uh, internalize the content we have to really understand fully understand the content of the passive voice which is not easy we know it's not easy so that's why we are going to start with that here we have the tense Present simple, present continuous, past simple, past continuous, 
present perfect, past perfect, future simple, future be going to, modal or modal perfect. These last two, the last two, we haven't seen them, but there's not a problem because we're going to see we're going to see them now. And here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten sentences in active voice, which now I'm going to read. First one, I make a cake. That is present simple. In the active voice, I make a cake. Number two, I am making a cake. I am making a cake. Third one, I made a cake. I made a cake. Number four, I was making a cake. I was making a cake. Number five, I have made a cake. I have made a cake. Number seven, I had made a cake. I had made a cake. Next one. I will make a cake. I will make a cake. Next one. I'm going to make a cake. I'm going to make a cake. Next one, I must make a cake. I must make a cake. And last but not least, one of the most difficult ones so far because we haven't seen it yet completely, thoroughly. I should have made a cake. I should have made a cake. All right, so now, what is your job now? Take all these active voice and write them down into the passive voice. For that, stop the video right now so you can. So what what is going to be your job now? Take all these active sentences and transform them into the passive voice. I make a cake. I'm making a cake. I made a cake. All of them transform them into the passive voice okay so stop the video now do take the time to do the exercise as, as soon as you think you're ready you can play the video again so three two one stop the video right now all right and if you continue watching this video is because you have already made if you have already made all the exercises as you can see here the all the active sentences you have already transformed them into the passive and we're going to see right now if those uh, answers were correct or not as you can see here uh, we have the magic of the books right the magic of the wisdom but also have the magic of the passive voice what is the magic of the passive voice let me check this, this is not working <laughs> there we have the magic of the passive voice is -da! there we have all the passive voice so if we take into account the first one, if we have a sentence in active voice, like I make a cake, remember that in the active voice, the most important thing is the subject. So it's I make a cake. I am the important. But in the passive voice, the important thing is not the subject who makes the action, but it's important the object that receives the action. So a cake is made. So what is important? A cake. Who made it? It doesn't care. We, it doesn't matter. I don't care. Right? So that's why we have from I make a cake to a cake is made. Number two. I'm making a cake. A cake is being made. I can say by me if I want to express it. But 
in this context we are not going to say who makes the action okay number three I made a cake number three in the passive form is a cake was made number four active I was making a cake I was making a cake but then I realized that I'm not good for cooking so I quit <laughs> okay I was making a cake change from active into the passive voice in the form a cake was being made a cake was being made number five I have made a cake I have made a cake a cake has been made a cake has been made let's continue I have made a cake I had made a cake into the passive voice is it turns into a cake had been made a cake had been made number seven I will make a cake I will make a cake goes into the passive leg a cake will be made a cake will be made the remember why is important to know how to do this because usually in Spanish we speak in active voice I am the important thing I make the action so I am important but in English we have the passive voice which is very 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 useful to know how to use it and we have the passive voice why because if in the passive voice the object is the most important thing not the subject so that's why if you realize here we haven't said any name or any person that that is making the action it's just the action I will make a cake a cake will be made I am going to make a cake I am going to make a cake a cake is going to be made a cake is going to be made the next one I must make a cake models right I must make a cake it's an obligation so as an obligation also I a cake must be made a cake must be made and last but not least of course that we have I should have made a cake I should have made a cake now it goes like a cake should have been made a cake should have been made and in that way we finish the checking of the exercises of the uh, from the active into the passive voice in just a couple of seconds we'll be right back to start with the Instagram abbreviations I know that you're all waiting for that all right so we are back for the final part of our class today right people let's go to the Instagram abbreviations which is what we are going to do now active and passive right and now the Instagram abbreviations as you can see here we have some acronyms and the signification in English I'm not going to translate it because I has I already told you many 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 times the idea is to work with all these contents trying to avoid as much as possible translation because when you learn a new language when you learn a second or third or fourth language 
The idea is to learn how to think in that language and not only how to translate it. Why not? Because translation is a more, much more difficult process to do in your heads than just understand the ideas. Okay. So now I'm going to read the acronym and you will have the meaning okay so let's start with ptfo pass the beep out get out of here asl age sex and location asl means how old are you where is your sex and where do you live all that with just three letters asl age sex and location afaik as far as I know, as far as I know, remember in Spanish we, we tend to say put for as a fake no a f a i k letter by letter in English, please. As far as I know, I am h o in my humble opinion, I am h o in my humble opinion. IRL in real life. IRL in real life. ESO in search of. ISO in search of. JK. Just kidding. Just JK. Just kidding. L8R later. L eight R later POV point of view POV point of view RBTL read between the lines RBTL RT real time RT real time BTW by the way BTW by the way, CTN can talk now. CTN can talk now. It's not possible for me. CYE, check your email. CYE, check your email. For example, when you send a Google Meet link and people, even you even though you do that they don't get co get connected you start sending the message check your mail c y e check your mail dl download what is download download right maybe it can be a document of music a document of um now history language you can download things from the internet into your computer or into your devices lol besides of league of legends which is the name of a video game lol also mean, meaning lol also means laugh out loud or laughing out loud omg oh my god I L Y, I love you. I L Y, I love you. L M A O, laughing my off. L M A O. Okay. Let's continue. Sorry. T T Y N talk to you never T T Y N talk to you never F B O Facebook official F B O Facebook official T T Y S talk to you soon H M B hit me back H M B hit me back Let's continue. ETA, estimate, estimated time of arrival. ETA, what is your ETA? 
so they, there you have to start making some calculations and more or less give an, a date and an hour where you should be doing what you wanted to do estimated time of arrival let's continue F W I W for what it's worth F W I W for what is worth F Y I for your information we already know that right F Y I for your information G G good game G J good job G L good luck G R 8 great G T G got to go G M B got my boat G M B got my boat okay you got my boat H T H hope this help helps hope this helps O T off topic PC personal computer PLS please POS parent cover shoulder parent cover shoulder PPL parientes people PPL people sorry <laughs> TXT text WE whatever w eight wait okay and in that way we are finishing our class today where we saw many 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 things like for example we did we have done a dictation number nine a swimmer sees a shark then we made a, a, a sorry the dictation we have already made it then we did some passive voice exercises and now we are doing some Instagram abbreviation exercises. If you want to pause the video, make a picture with your cell phones of this part, yes, you can do it. Please, please, please do it. That's the way you have to start studying. I mean, every day a little bit more will take you really far in the short term. In the short time, you will be able to speak any language you want. But you have to uh, go systematic, you have to be steady, tidy, okay? Very good people, let's go to the final part to say goodbye. And this is how it ends, this wonderful class that we had today. Hope you have enjoyed it as much as I have. And I hope to see you next class with the same energy, the same attitude. Stay home, stay safe. Keep on learning English with Teacher Cloud. Bye-bye. See ya.